John here, talking about modules, Open SCAD modules. Let's say we want to create a shape that looks like a fish, okay? So how, what, how do you make a fish? A cylinder, maybe we'll say diameter equals 100, height equals ugh, 8, okay? Uh, what does that look like? It should be like a hockey puck. There we go. All right, fine. So the body of a fish, to me, sort of looks like this. <laughs> Little insights into how people think, right? Okay, scale one by one by a half by one. <clears throat> Let's switch this together a little bit there. All right, so a fish essentially looks like that, and it has a tail over here. So what does a tail look like? A tail to me is another couple of cylinders, I guess. So let's go ahead. I'm just copy, paste, paste. These cylinders are going to be about this big by 8 and we got to move them to the right so translate uh, somewhere <clears throat> okay now what are we gonna do we're gonna move it to the right and X so that's positive so we made this a hundred so I'm gonna move it over to here uh, 50 oops and then it's got to go up some. So this now is squished by half. So this is a 50 by 100 oval. So to go here, uh, 25, I guess, and leave it alone in the Z. So go to the right. Now we're going to go down the same amount. The other one went up. What does that look like? Hmm. Well, <laughs> it looks like a squished Mickey head. Uh, I won't say the rest of that because I don't want to get sued, right? So let's not go minus. We, we want to go about half of that, I suppose. Well, if the diameter of these guys is 25, that makes sense. So let's just divide it by 2 simply because we can. Okay, that's sort of fishy looking. Maybe uh, it's 12. Let's move it to uh, 10 and minus 10 instead of 12 and a half. How does that look? That's sort of fishy-like. All right, there's our fish. Okay, so let's say you needed to print, uh, create an, an object that had multiple fish in it. Well, it would be nice to be able to reuse this instead of just typing in all these guys, right? And, you know, it would also be nice that you, if you decide to change the height, you don't have to redo all the eights, right? So we already talked about variables, so maybe you could say height equals eight, and then we'd put an HT in here for each of these three guys. Now we can render that, and then now if I feel like making it 15, I can do so, and the whole fish gets fatter. Otherwise, I could make it skinnier and so on. All right, that seems reasonable. Okay, uh, that's a little bit of help, but we still want to be able to create more than one without having to type those three lines in every single time. Let's create a module. That's what a module is for. It's a, sort of a, uh, the OpenSCAD uh, version of a subroutine. You simply say module like this. Put the body of the module inside curlies. This creates a new scope. We talk about scope with regard to variables. Uh, that's a variable scope. Now we put parameters, if we have any, inside the parentheses, and we need to name it. So let's name this fish. Now if we do this, we have a module, but we never used it. So it'll go along and <laughs> render. We've rendered nothing because there's nothing to render. Now let's... <clears throat> Let's create a fish. To make the module named fish run, it's now you have it's like the cylinders and cubes and so on. They're all essentially modules. We've just created a new one called fish. So there you have a fish. You could create as many as you want. You can say fish. You can say translate now. Same as you do with the cubes. But now they're fish. Let's go. Uh, what do we want? Zero, and we want to move it up uh, in the y-axis. So we happen to know that it's 50 units high, so it would be 25. If you wanted one like just touching the top of the other one, you'd do. Oops, I calculated wrong. <laughs> 50. <laughs> If you wanted them touching together, you'd you know, calculate that out. You can see that there's actually a hairline gap in there. 
So um, why is that? It should actually be 50. It turns out with rounding and so on, sometimes these things don't exa exactly line up. Actually, you can see that the facets are pretty big on this fish, all right? If we increase the number of facets, they'll probably get closer together, right? So if we do our FA equals 1, and we say FS equals, say, 2, there you go. We've increased the resolution, so this arc now flows more freely up to its ultimate destination than it otherwise would if you had very few facets, right? So if you actually went Fn equals like 5, this thing would be then really blocky. In fact, you might like that. I don't know. It's all personal taste. That looks still fishish, but not quite the same <coughs> as this so it's a different uh you know, whatever different style all right so we now have a module and we can call it repeatedly we can move them around just like anything else well what if we wanted to change the size of the fish you don't make every single cube you ever print uh, render the same size we want to be able to have different size fish so what do we have here let's think about this what we've created we have a variable called ht whose scope starts on line 4 and runs to the end of this file. So we can use the HT inside this module as well as outside the module as long as it's you know defined first. Um, when you write a module, you generally don't make them work like this where you got a global variables out here that you just reach out and grab. This can be somewhat uh, confusing to the users. So you'd make this a, a, a parameter of the module, just like the cubes have. So let's say uh, we want to say height is a parameter. We'd also want to say like length. So maybe that the len here is like the a body length. The fact that this just turned green makes reminds me that len is actually a, a, a reserved word. It's a function inside Open SCAD. So that's probably not a good thing to name my variable. Is what it is. Um, let's call this bl for body length, and ht is really the thickness uh, in the z axis. Okay. How are we going to deal with these guys now? Well, the body length is what we use for this guy right here. This guy over here really is dependent on the body length, as is the mo movement around over here. So this is really body length divided by 4. These guy, this circle here is a quarter of the size of the big one. So you could say BL over 4 here and there if you wanted to. And then when you make your fish, you can say, I want to be 100. And I want them to be five thick, which is what I thought HT used to be set to, but it will be now. Now you can see it didn't really change anything, but let's make one of them five and the other one eight. Now you can see the one that's up here, the one that's translated up to the north, is thicker. Let's make that more obvious. Let's make it 20. It'll be a really fat guy. See? Ta-da! Now we got a parameterized fish. <clears throat> that we can move around like anything else. This is nice, but these values over here are also dependent on the body size. So if I made the body size, say, 30, if I wanted to make the fish small, uh, it would be nice if the tail fin pieces would move along with it. So we didn't quite finish the job here. Let's introduce some new variables inside this module. Now, as I mentioned before, the module has its uh, as a body that's that's ensconced by these curly braces. That body is its own scope. So, if I introduce variables inside these curlies, the scope will go from the definition to the end of the module body, and it won't continue way down here. So that way, different modules can have the same parameter called BL, and they're all different BLs, all right? So let's call this one, instead of BL over 4 and having to type that in twice, I'm going to call that one the tail diameter equals BL over 4, all right? So this guy here won't be that. You don't want to re re recreate all the math everywhere, because if you decide you don't want it to be BL over 4, you can change it in the one spot, not everywhere. This is true about all programming languages. It's just bad style to do it any other way. All right. So I just re-rendered it to make sure I didn't break it. Nothing moved around haphazardly. It all looks good. Okay. So this is still means the same thing. 
Now these 50, uh, the reason that was 50, remember, is because I originally had this to be 100 for the diameter. And I wanted to move over to the end of the fish. Well, now the diameter is not 100. The diameter is BL. So this is really BL over 2. So let's call this one the tail offset. I'll abbreviate that to TO. And that would equal BL over 2 instead of foolishly hard coding a 50 in here. All right. Now these tens are also dependent on the body length. Uh, that's body length divided by 10. So that would be the tail vertical offset equals body length divided by 10. This one should be tail horizontal offset so that it's more obvious that it is what it's used for. Now keep that minus sign in there because one of them goes up vertically and the other one goes down. All right. So now this is still uh, all the same on this fish, but this one should now fall into place and become what you would expect when the thing is bigger versus smaller. All right. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, you now have a parameterized module. You can create as many as you want, and you can specify it, val different values each time for its parameters. Same way we do for cylinders and cubes and things like that.